Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. I am super excited. I get to share a project with you for Newton's Duck Designs and we're using the Lemon Twist stamp set. This has been in the shop for a little while, but I get to play with it today and I love lemons. And the size of the lemon in here was um, the perfect size for paper piecing. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna do a little bit of stamping on some pattern paper. And I'm just using some scrap pieces that I've had in my stash. And we're just gonna use the large um, solid lemon with the leaves. I'm gonna get a smaller stamp. There's a small flower in the stamp set. We're gonna stamp that as well. The papers that I chose um, are basically two-tone prints. Um, I, uh, yellow has a real pretty gradient to it. The green does too, but when you stamp the leaves on it, it doesn't make that big of a difference. But I like the gradient on this um, scrap piece of paper here. So I'm just inking up my lemon with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then we'll stamp that. I wanted two different shades, so I thought we'd stamp it in the darker area and then also uh, stamp it in the lighter, more gradient area. And we're doing a little twisting and turning. I'm trying to fit those leaves on there, but actually I didn't need to do that, just needed the lemon. <laughs> now for this paper, it's a t like a tealish green two-tone pattern. I thought we would um, be perfect leaves for my, um, my card today. So we're stamping two of these. And now um, I'm going to take some white cardstock and we're going to stamp three of the flowers. I'm going to use white because I want to basically keep it white. Um, and we're going to stamp this little flower three times. And I do have the coordinating dies to this set. And there is a die to cut out these little flowers. And I thought that was great too. Okay, I'm going to use my scissors. And we are just going to fussy cut. When you fussy cut and do paper piecing, you want to cut all the way on the black line. And so that's what I'm going to do with each of my uh, images. For the yellow, um, I'm chopping off the leaves and just cutting out the lemon. And then we're going to do the reverse for the green paper and just chop off the um, lemon and just cut out the leaves. So we have some fun print for our lemon. Okay, I'm going to stamp our lemon one more time on some white cardstock. This way we have a place to glue our paper um, pattern paper here. I stamped this all the way in the corner and I thought I could fit one more um, on this panel and it's just not working so I have to bring in another piece of white cardstock and I think this is going to work out great. Okay, now we're going to take a black marker and go around the edges of our fussy cut images. This is going to hide any cutting imperfections and uh, trust me, there's probably quite a bit of <laughs> imperfection around my lemon. Um, sometimes the larger areas are harder for me to cut. It's, it sounds weird, but this just helps clean it up a little bit. Once we have the black marker added around the edges, we're going to take our glue and go over um, our black and white image here. Just filling in those areas. And then all we have left to do is add our pattern paper. This is so therapeutic for me. I haven't did paper piecing in a long time, but it's like puzzle piecing and I like puzzles. And so um, I really enjoy paper piecing and I like the, the outcome also. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and add our leaves. Just adding those. Um, now the leaves, um, I mean the stem of the lemons, I didn't paper piece. You very, could very well if you had the patience to cut a small area out like that, but I thought we'd just use a brown Copic marker to fill in um, the stem of our lemon here. Makes it much easier, especially for a small area like this. I'm going to take a gray Copic marker and we're just going to highlight our, our little white flowers. Again, I wanted to leave them pre predominantly white, so I'm just adding a little gray highlight. My background, I thought it would be pretty with a gray background, so that's why I added the gray to the white flower. Next, we're going to take the coordinating dies and just die cut out our, um, our both of our lemons and then also our flowers. Uh, the nice thing about die cutting is the pressure from your die cut machine will just um, seal your paper piecing all together. <laughs> okay, that's what they look like. We're going to set them aside and work on our background. I'm going to be using the frames and flags background die set. And we're going to take one of the frames and using some gray diagonal stripe pattern paper. Again, this is just scrap paper from my stash. I'm going to die cut out a, a banner with that. And then I also used the large frame and then a, a rectangle die from my stash to cut out um, 
a, a scalloped edge frame for my background. I thought we'd bring in another pattern paper with a gray um, and white two-tone look. And this is like a gingham gray print. Um, I just trimmed down a full-size card front panel for my card today. Um, I went ahead and adhered that to an A2 size card base. And before we adhere our our frame or our, our flag to our frame, we are going to stamp our sentiment. I, I think I'm going to choose the one that says Hello Sunshine. I think it goes perfect with those lemons. And I thought for it to stand out, I didn't want to use black. I wanted a little bit of a lighter color. So we're going to do some heat embossing. I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool over my pattern paper here. I'm going to ink up my sentiment with my Versamark ink. Stamp that towards the bottom of our flag here. And then I want to use my white embossing powder, go over my sentiment, and then we're going to use our heat gun and go ahead and melt our Hello Sunshine sentiment. I think it looks great. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and flip over my frame. I added a little bit of tape on the very top, and then I'm going to center my flag. And then I'm also going to add foam adhesive and pop this up for a little bit of dimension on our card today. And then we'll add one down the center. I went ahead and add both my lemons to the very top of my flag here. And now I'm going to go ahead and pop up each one of my little flowers and we are going to add those around our lemon as well. Um, there on the lemon there's some little um, details. I'm just going to highlight those with my white gel pen. Just filling in those areas with my white gel pen on that pattern paper. And then I'm also going to take my um, my droplets. These are little clear droplets. Look like water droplets. I added a few here and there. And then that finishes off my card for today. No, actually, I'm going to bring in um, my white Nouveau drops and center my flowers. Then that finishes off my card today, guys. I think it's such a nice, bright, cheery, it makes me want lemonade <laughs> card. I wish you a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, everything's listed down below if you guys are interested in this, but we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.